in the name of God, the Compassionate, the Merciful. Aside from the facts mentioned within previous sections regarding the events that occurred during the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020 worldwide, which were in line with what was mentioned in I, Petco 2 animation, in this section as well, we shall exclusively deal with the corona issue. COVID-19, the coronavirus disease, which spread across the world at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, was declared as a pandemic and became the number one healthcare problem worldwide. After a few weeks of its spread, various guesses were made regarding the bioterrorist nature of this virus spread. In addition to the opinions of many political and military figures in Iran, Russia, China, and the United States, it was claimed that either China or the USA were responsible for this act of bioterrorism and targeting other countries. Meanwhile, many health organizations and ministries involved with healthcare, particularly in developing countries, are struggling with sudden challenges with the coronavirus disease and cannot afford to pay attention to the bioterrorist nature of this virus as they carry on with their activities. It is not worthy that whether COVID-19 caused by the coronavirus is an act of bioterrorism or not. All the necessary scientific and precise actions must be practiced for this treatment and the nature of this act does not make any difference in this regard. In other words, even while theorizing that this disease is in fact an act of bioterrorism, the front lines of fighting this challenge still pass through biological studies and medical sciences. This does not then mean the gravitation towards pseudoscientific methods and baseless treatment claims. However, considering the possibility of bioterrorism, new hypotheses will present themselves for the societies at risk. For instance, if some groups or scientific countries commit an act of bioterrorism, then further arrangements should be considered before the situation can go back to normal. Furthermore, the statistics and information provided from suspicious countries and organizations couldn't be fully trusted. This matter is not in sense of the naivety and simplicity. In contrast, it means that the countries who fell victim to be the potential act of bioterrorism should consider further accurate arrangements for prevention and treatment strategies than what is advised from the official reports of foreign countries' organizations. For instance, the initial provided statistics from the scientific organizations of the countries that are suspected to have had a hand in the bioterrorism, we see that the error is not a common route for the transfer for the disease. For example, it is not airborne. It is solely transmitted through small droplets. However, we should have still been more careful and considered the airborne path as the suspicious and potential way for the transfer of the disease in addition to the droplets from the very first moments that the disease spread information was released. Because it is not a far-fetched idea that hostile countries may provide incomplete and directional information regarding a causative microorganism. This tactic is desirable for the people behind the bioterrorism in order to inflict further casualties upon the developing countries targeted by the act. This introduction was given so that the respected audience would consider that deliberation on bioterrorism does not mean to become unheeding and reckless towards the issues within the field of medicine. It is in fact to convey that more responsibility is placed on the shoulders of the medical society of the countries struggling with the bioterrorism in order to go beyond international published information and observing standard medical and healthcare procedures. By providing this introduction, we now go to our main discussion regarding the spread of COVID-19 and its connection with what is mentioned in iPad Go to animation as well as other evidence. As it was mentioned before, 
Some related content may be found within the iPad Go To animation and the information related to them that point towards the purposeful global pandemic in the advent of the deal of the century and the Antichrist's coronation. The most important scene related to this issue is the final dance of the Blue Child or Northern Blue near the Masonic Holy Fire at a time very close to sunrise. One of the important notions of this scene is the use of various treatment masks by the Blue Child, to the extent that he first wears the mask of Native American shamans or witches, then the bear mask and finally the beak-like plague mask. In this instance, the application of the bear mask for what is called bear medicine was common among Native Americans of North America and the beak-like plague mask was also favored by physicians in the medieval Europe. They believed that such a mask that encased various perfumes within its beak helped prevent the plague infection. The existence of treatment masks on the blue child's face while dancing around the Masonic holy fire entails various concepts that we have alluded to before, desired by Freemasonry from an impending highly contagious disease before the finalization of the deal of the century and the Antichrist's coronation. Hence, the aforementioned scene is indicating two important notions. 1. The rise of an important contagious disease close to the finalization of the deal of the century and 2. The children's immunity from the disease's severe complications. On the other hand, some groups of sea waves can be observed in a faded form underneath the blue child's feet within the same scene, which appear for a few moments beneath the blue child wearing the treatment masks. As we had mentioned in the previous scene, it would seem that the indication of these waves at the same time that the treatment masks are being used is not accidental. With further investigation, it becomes clear that the Corona Company has been the sponsor for international surfing tournaments since 1980, and in particular within the last five years. This matter within such a complex animation filled with secrets and mysteries is completely suspicious and states that the name of the contagious disease in question that the children are relatively immune from is Corona. In addition, there are other factors that show the story of Corona is strongly connected to the Freemason establishments in the Donald Trump era. One of these hints is the structure of the Kabbalah tree, as we mentioned before, and the evil Kabbalah beliefs. The Kabbalah tree is consisted of 10 important parts or sephiro. The most important one is the crown sephiro, which is called Kether in Hebrew, and Krona in Latin. The crown or Krona is the highest sephiro in the Kabbalah tree of life and acts as the entry and exit for the lightning of creation. This sephiro is located next to where the grand tarot card, the Fool, is positioned. In truth, the Fool trump card in tarot is positioned exactly next to the Krona or crown sephiro. It is noteworthy that in the Levis Carroll version of the tarot cards, the Mad Hatter character from the Alice in Wonderland story, and also the Joker card and the normal deck of cards are considered the equivalents of the full card within the Thoth tarot cards. Hence, the parade of seemingly foolish politicians such as Donald Trump and Boris Johnson at the helm of powerful Masonic powers also the wide presence of the Joker within the media and the social unrests have all exactly happened at a time close to the COVID-19 pandemic. It would seem that these connections are not without purpose. The translation of Kabbalah Tree's mysteries is that the emergence and presence of the fools and jokers near the time of Antichrist's coronation and the contagious disease with the code name Corona are all important parts of the Ordop Chow plan for creating a great disorder before the establishment of the New World Order. 
Another important issue concerning the connection between the Kabbalah tree of life and the coronavirus is the existence of some elements in the films of the Jewish Kabbalist filmmaker Darren Aronofsky. He's a very clever Jewish and Kabbalist director and has some very famous films such as Pi, The Fountain, Requiem for a Dream, and No in his portfolio. In some of his films, like Pi, The Fountain, and No, some Kabbalistic elements such as the Tree of Life, Illuminati Light, Kabbalah's cryptic numbers, etc. have been clearly indicated. In two completely different films, The Fountain and No, while indicating the Tree of Life, which is a Kabbalistic concept, its fruit is oddly shaped and has been depicted as a green-colored sphere with various elongations. stopped but it can be survived yeah. I may need this it's a seed from the first garden from Eden remember Noah he chose you for a reason
In the movie The Fountain, which is full of Masonic symbols and concepts, such as the indication towards the build of the Orion constellation and the Sirius star, Kabbalistic meditation, and other related symbols, we see that after the first character of the story, Thomas Creo or Tommy, passes through the highest stage of the Kabbalah journey, which is the crown or corona sphero. The Kabbalah tree's fruit is picked by his wife and put in his hand. The important point regarding the Kabbalah tree's fruit in this film is that it has been depicted as a green sphere form with elongations all over it. The picture of this fruit resembles the picture presented by the media for the coronavirus more than anything else. This issue specially considering the fact that it appears after Tommy passes through the highest sphero, which is the Kether, crown or krona, and turns into the perfect human or Adam Catman, gains further importance and looks suspicious even more than before. On the other hand, in the movie No, which is made by the same director, we see Methuselah, No's grandfather, giving him the seed of the tree of life so that he can plant it and build his ark using its wood. In the No movie, which is a distorted, deviating film, we observe in No's revelations that the tree of life seed is released from his hands and starts going up while he's floating. As the seed of the tree of life continues elevating, the camera is positioned in a place where for a few moments the seed of the tree of life passes from the center front of No's forehead. As it was mentioned before, the position of the crown, krona or kether sphero in the Kabbalah tree of life is exactly aligned with the center of Adam Kadman's forehead. This symmetry between the seed of the tree of life and No's forehead, especially in a movie made by a clever Jewish Kabbalist director, is not coincidental. It is referring to the position of the seed of the Kabbalah's tree of life within Adam Kutman's body, which is depicted in the form of a very elongated green sphere that completely aligns with the image of the coronavirus. The other point that we should allude to is that the sphere of the seed and fruit of the Kabbalah tree of life in the fountain and no movies are identical. This issue gains further importance when we know that the crown Kether or Corona Sphero, which is the highest one in the Kabbalah Tree of Life, is considered both the beginning and the end of the path of the tree. In truth, the crown or Corona Sphero is both the entry and exit location of the lightning of creation in the Kabbalah Tree of Life. In these two films as well, the seed, which is the beginning of the Tree of Life's life, and the fruit, which is the result and conclusion of the Tree of Life have been depicted identically as a green sphere with multiple elongations. The culmination of this information strengthens the fact that the apparent similarities between the seed and the fruit of the Kabbalah's tree of life to the coronavirus is probably not without reason and is the sign of an evil plan within the camp of the devil and his followers that has been depicted in various forms within movies, media and so on. Indeed, it would seem that the Corona is a code name, which has been planned for the final stage of the Kabbalah Tree of Life and the coronation of the Antichrist in Jerusalem. Its goal is creating general chaos and instability all over the world and the execution of the Order of Chao or Order from Chaos slogan in order to establish a new world order led by the Antichrist. The other important issue which we should point towards is that the real color of the coronavirus is not green. The virus color differs depending on the coloring used under the electron microscope. In truth, the color green has nothing to do with the coronavirus. However, why green has been chosen as a symbolic color from among all the other colors in the coloring of the electron microscope springs some questions to mind. However, considering what was discussed regarding the seed and the green elongated sphere fruit of the Kabbalah tree of life, 
which is the result of the promotion to the crown or corona sphero, we can probably consider it a code for indicating this part of the Kabbalah tree of life within the Masonic and Illuminati plans. On the other hand, it was mentioned before that aside from the notion of the fool's connection in major arcana tarot cards with Donald Trump, the Regulus star is known as Trump's lucky star and his connection with the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis has been under consideration long ago. The important point is that the connection between the words Regulus and Corona can be tracked from within other evidence as well. One of the most important links is observed within the solar eclipse. At the time of eclipse, a bright ring can be witnessed around the sun which is named Corona. At the same time, near Corona and the ecliptic sun, the ever eclipsed star Regulus is present as well. It is fascinating that the iPetGo2 animation maker's logo also alludes to both Corona and Regulus symbols, in a way that in the Heliophant logo, the dot on the letter I is indicating the Regulus star while the letter O points towards the corona. In truth, the letter O is the symbol of solar eclipse in the sun which is circled by the bright halo called the corona of the sun. In addition to what was mentioned above, we can observe the relation between corona and Regulus in some mysterious stories as well. A book titled The Watchers of Worlds by Brenda Berry, which was published in 2014, has cryptically indicated various secret and Masonic symbols within. For instance, the repeated indication of this book to Thelemic concepts such as magnum opus, which is a key expression in Satanism and Thelema, or the indication towards a game called The Quest of Zion by the story's characters that they use for entertainment as well as other elements, symbols, and various Masonic and Satanic names used in varying parts of this book, all allude to the important hidden mysteries and codes within this book. The important point in this book is the presence of different characters whose names mostly contain specific codes and mysteries. One of these characters is a young boy called Regulus B7V, whose name clearly corresponds with the attributes of the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis. B7V is a code used for the spectrum of the Regulus star in astrological spectroscopy. In other words, the astronomical attributes of the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis have been encoded within the name and attributes of the Regulus B7V character of the Watchers of the Worlds book. There is another character in the same book called Krona, who is a boy that is a chief of prison wardens. Krona is also known as the leader of rebels in the eyes of the common people. However, Krona tells the companions of the Regulus that the goal for the temporary imprisonment of the Regulus and his friends is to save them from any harm that may befall them by enemies. As he makes a deal with Regulus, finally fulfills promise and after a short-term imprisonment releases Regulus B7V and his companions without any harm from the prison, which was indeed a place to protect them. In this story, Krona has a short but effective role and then is not heard from again. But within this short while, Krona, who is known as the leader of the rebels and also the chief of the prison wardens, is introduced as a determined, decisive, kind, supportive person and committed to promises. But the important point in this instance is that it would seem the relationship between Krona and Regulus in the Watchers of the World's story is temporary and even hostile in the beginning. But in fact, Krona is the protector and supporter of Regulus and his friends and, in the end, the temporary imprisonment and halt in the prison was for the good of all and Regulus in particular, who was saved from harm. Hence, it seems that a phenomenon, which is called Krona, in the Masonic world, 
has been alluded to in this story that although is seemingly difficult and tragic for the Masonic and Illuminati world, in practice it is part of the final plans of the Illuminati themselves and shall serve their end goal which is the establishment of the new world order. Considering what has been discussed, we realize that the spread of the contagious disease at the end of all time is an important part of the Freemasonry and Illuminati's plan for the execution of the final stage of the deal of the century and bringing the new world order to fruition. It has even been alluded to in the form of some codes and mysteries such as the Regulus and Krona and the connection between them. Considering the fact that the Regulus star is important on one hand due to its repositioning from the Leo constellation to the Virgo constellation at the beginning of the third millennia. It is also important since it is known as Donald Trump's lucky star on the other hand. Thus, it would seem that the connection between the Regulus and Chrono code names is in the sense of the spread of a contagious disease with the code name Chrono in the era of Regulus, which means Donald Trump's term as president. In addition, as we had mentioned, the highest sphero in the Kabbalah tree of life is known as the Krone, Kether or Krona, which is considered the beginning and the end of the lightning of creation. It is situated next to the full trump card or its equivalent, the Joker. These secret codes within the Kabbalah tree of life indicate that the proximity and concurrence of Krona and the era of Jokers and Fools are embodied by the spread of coronavirus disease or COVID-19 in Donald Trump and Boris Johnson's leadership terms and by the anarchist Joker's disruptions. In other words, these code names are a type of warm reception for the deal of the century and the beginning of the Antichrist's coronation in Jerusalem. Because according to the Freemasons and Illuminati's views, the resurrection of the Antichrist began since April 2019, and for this reason a great flood of conspiracies, difficulties, and curses shall push the world into disorder, fear, mass panic, despair, and suffocation so that it would resemble the valley of the shadow of death. The Antichrist would then rise as the false Christ to save the people from all the hardships and pressures as the false savior and turn them into followers of the satanic wicked beliefs. However, in addition to the above indications towards the names Regulus, Krona, and the Fool, the trace of the plans for the spread of contagious disease at the time of the apocalypse can be observed in Hollywood movies, which is aimed towards the preparation of minds and induction of mass panic. It seems that the great and powerful Hollywood media establishments are the most important Freemasonry and Illuminati tools for mind control over masses around the world. The pandemic and the infectious disease born out of viruses have been alluded to since decades ago within media products, films, and series, so that by using these tools, people's mind become prepared for such an event worldwide. They would then use the panic induced by these films to further their own interests. Of the movies made in this theme, we can consider the Resident Evil franchise, Contagion, and Inferno. My name is Alice. I work for the Umbrella Corporation, the largest and most powerful commercial entity in the world. I was head of security at a secret high-tech facility called The Hive, a giant underground laboratory developing experimental viral weaponry. There was an incident. A virus escaped. A lot of people died. The trouble was, they didn't stay dead. The computer that controlled The Hive was a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence. The Red Queen. The Red Queen responded to the threat of the viral outbreak in an extreme way. She went homicidal, 
You're all going to die down here. The Red Queen attempted to kill everyone, whether they were infected or not. I managed to escape, but this was only the beginning. Viral outbreaks spread like wildfire. First across the United States, then the world. The T-Virus didn't just bring the dead back to life. It mutated them in terrifying ways. Despite the apocalypse they had created, the Umbrella Corporation continued to experiment with the deadly virus. I was infected, but the virus bonded with me on a cellular level. It developed powers. The genetic structure is the key. I became different. Powerful. Unstoppable. As I got stronger, the human race became weaker. I tried my best to lead what survivors I could find to safety, but we were pursued relentlessly. Even my friend Jill Valentine was seized and brainwashed by Umbrella. Shoot to kill. Finally, I confronted the head of the Umbrella Corporation, Albert Wesker. He robbed me of my powers, but I still managed to defeat him. At last, we thought it was over. We thought we had survived the horror. But we were wrong. Once again, we found ourselves fighting for our lives. The two are called again. I'm just having a hard time with the logistics of evacuating you. Finding a plane and all. Jory, don't touch anything. Help me. Okay, take your gloves off. Here, give me your hands. Okay. You really rub this in.
Folks, attention. We appreciate your patience and we're doing the best we can. We have exhausted our supply of meals ready to eat for today. What? 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 Please remain calm. We'll be setting free. Hey, can we get some help over here? We need to leave the park in order to leave the Okay. Get the crap! In the becoming part of the Inferno movie, these sentences are stated. It took the Earth's population a hundred thousand years to reach a billion people. And then just a hundred more to reach two billion. And only, and only 50 years to double again. To double again. Four billion, four billion, in 1970. We're nearly at eight billion. Eight billion now. We are destroying the very means by which life is sustained. Every single global ill that plagues the Earth Trace it back, trace it back to human overpopulation. Human overpopulation. Why do we demand inaction? We clear cut. We dump. We consume. We destroy. Half the animal species on Earth have vanished. Vanished. In the last forty years. Forty years. So we keep attacking our own body. I mean, does it take a catastrophe to learn a our lesson? Catastrophe lessons? to get our attention. Nothing changes behavior like pain. Maybe pain can save us. In addition, in parts of the movie Resident Evil, the final chapter, the following notions were stated within the dialogues of the film's characters. You asked why I would turn against Umbrella, and I promised you an answer. Soon after the T-Virus was released, a secret file was uploaded to my data stream. It was a recording of a meeting of the Umbrella High Command, dated 17 months before the viral outbreak occurred. We're here today not just to talk about the future of this company. We're here to talk about its destiny. We're here to talk about the end of the world. We stand on the brink of Armageddon, diseases for which we have no cure. Fundamentalist states who call for our destruction, nuclear powers over which we have no control. And even if we navigate these dangerous waters, we face other, even more inevitable threats. Global warming will melt the polarized gaps within 80 years, flooding 90% of all habitable areas on Earth. Unchecked population growth will overtake food production in less than 50 years, leading to famine and war. This is not conjecture. This is fact. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. Now the question is, will we end with it? What do you propose? I propose that we end the world, but on our terms. An orchestrated apocalypse. One that will cleanse the Earth of its population but leave its infrastructure and resources intact. 
It's been done once before, with great success. The chosen few will ride out the storm, not in an ark as in the book of Genesis, but in safety, underground. And when it's over, we will emerge onto a cleansed earth, one that we can then reboot in our image. And just how do you intend to achieve this? The means of our salvation are already at hand. I give to you the T-Virus. He released it deliberately. When this recording was uploaded to my data stream, it created a conflict in my programming. I was created to serve the Umbrella Corporation, but I was also programmed to value human life. Dr. Isaacs allowed the virus to escape. He murdered over seven billion people. My programming will not allow me to harm an employee of the Umbrella Corporation. I am powerless to stop Dr. Isaacs, but you are not. In 37 minutes, the last of the human settlements will fall. There will be no survivors. survivors. It is imperative you release the antivirus before this occurs, or Umbrella will have one. In these films, as well as the media controlled by the Freemasonry and Illuminati, it has been noted that one of the ways to control the population and the consequences of its growth is to use fatal and destructive viruses so that the Earth's population would reduce appropriately and create the opportunity of an ideal life for the rest of its population. This notion is in truth related to the same superior race idea of Zionism, Fascism and Nazism. According to these beliefs, the superior race group or tribe has the right to mastery and dominance all over the creatures and even humans to control the death or slavery of other races and kinfolk in order to preserve their own superiority. In addition, considering the beliefs of Freemasonry and Illuminati in the theory of evolution and natural selection, humans are not very different from animals in their views. According to the principle of natural selection and survival of the fittest, the race or kinfolk that is superior in terms of technology, power and so on, has the right to live and can eliminate other weaker groups and kinfolk. Considering the aforementioned, we realize that one of the hidden goals of spreading the killer viruses at the time of the apocalypse is to control the population based on predetermined objectives. As for which part of the population survives, it can be controlled in two ways. 1. Secret consumption of vaccines and antiviral drugs by Freemasonry and Illuminati's chosen population in order to protect them from the fatal properties of the virus. 2. Designing the DNA or RNA of the virus using genetic engineering in a way that the virus is more hostile and fatal for specific people. Regarding the first method, the secret consumption of vaccine or antiviral drugs, it would seem that the high-rank Freemasons and Illuminati leaders are certain of their immunity to the severe symptoms of COVID-19. The apparently foolish behavior of Donald Trump, Boris Johnson, and other Illuminati leaders and their disregard for medical recommendations, lack of adherence to hygienic standards, fanning the flames of challenges in the health sector, and so on, shows their certainty in their immunity to severe symptoms of this disease. In other words, while the execute of Masonic policies in eliminating the weaker and the handicapped within the society they get to protect the chosen Illuminati members from the severe symptoms of this disease with this evil plan. With regards to the second method, there are various medical instances of the ability to design a specific DNA or RNA for viruses that can make them more hostile and fatal. For example, in genetic studies, there is a notion called SNP or single nucleotide polymorphism, which shows that changes in a single nucleotide that occurs at a specific position in the genome can also affect the possibility of infection and the severity of disease caused by viruses and bacteria. Further information on this subject 
has been noted within various articles. In addition to SNPs, there are other situations in which, from a genetic point of view, people are most susceptible to viruses and some others are more resistant towards the same viruses. A known example of this matter is the cytokine receptors found on the surface of certain cells, known as chemokine receptors CCR5 and CXCR4. Many of the people with a specific mutant variants of these genes are immune to HIV and AIDS even if the virus was injected to them. Hence, we can realize from these examples that the connection between viruses and genetic sequencing in different people is a real fact and not fiction. This fact is well known in various scientific articles. Certainly, considering the long reputation of Masonic countries in using various chemical and nuclear bombs and weapons of mass destruction, the application of this scientific tactic for harming other countries and reducing the weak, less able and handicapped population is completely possible. Of course, stating the link between SNPs and other genetic subjects with the hostility and severity of a disease is not in the sense that only the people of a specific country are susceptible to that virus. It means that the casualty statistics as well as the infection rate of the virus in some populations shall be higher than others. Furthermore, the Masonic leaders are probably immune to the severe symptoms of these disease or death due to being in possession of the antibodies, drugs and vaccines. Thus, the aforementioned subject is very serious, and the notion of bioterrorism and the general reduction of the world's population focusing on specific people is strongly relevant about the COVID-19 and cannot be refuted scientifically. Of course, one may ask if the story that COVID-19 and coronavirus were hatched as a conspiracy by the Illuminati to spread this deadly disease is correct, then how can one explain the news that some world leaders, who are themselves Freemasons, have been infected with this disease. The answer is that spreading fake news is one of the main media tactics utilized by global Freemasonry and the leaders of these evil organizations. Since many of these media outlets, international organizations, etc., are under the control of Freemasonry and Illuminati, it is very simple for them to spread untrue stories about the interactions of Johnson, Trump, Macron, Merkel, etc., or even issue fake positive tests and then in a fraction of a second disseminate and broadcast it with the help of Freemasonry and Illuminati controlled media. Certainly, more than 99% of the world's population at no point in their lives will be able to verify the real news and therefore this fake news cannot only be easily created and disseminated but also believed by the masses. The real cost that is paid for this fake news is the two-week quarantine. These Masonic and Illuminati leaders will celebrate privately and far from the public eye. This fake news is be a great achievement for Freemasonry to trick, fool and lie to the people of the world about COVID-19. Even if one day it is announced one of these Freemason and Illuminati world leaders has died from COVID-19, no one should believe it until publication of irrefutable evidence and documents. Perhaps then one might accept that these people also really had the disease and died from it. Otherwise, the news of positive tests, illness, quarantine and even hospitalization is not credible and is probably fraudulent and full of deception and trickery. A question comes to mind regarding the coronavirus and that is why the code name Krona became prevalent among the Freemasons since a few years ago. How did the Freemasons and Illuminati select this special virus out of a variety of viruses and previously pointed towards it within their coded messages? We should mention in this regard that the selection of a virus for bioterrorism has a predictable procedure. 
A virus that is used in bioterrorism needs to be highly contagious and durable and based on the goals of the bioterrorism, may be highly fatal and debilitating. In addition, it is preferred that the virus has a long incubation period without any symptoms but still be infectious so that more people are infected. Naturally, respiratory viruses possess most of these properties. In contrast, the viruses that are transferred through food and water have a limited infection and fatality rate by controlling the contaminated water and food sources and instructing people to use hygienic food and water. However, viruses that are airborne or can be spread through droplets and endure for long periods on different surfaces are not easy to control. Meanwhile, the corona or influenza virus families have some suitable properties for bioterrorism. Besides its virological and medical specifications, the fact that corona is in the sense of the crown or kether sphero within the Kabbalah tree makes it the best candidate for the execution of Freemasonry and Illuminati's apocalyptic plans. It completely conforms to Kabbalist Freemasons and Illuminati beliefs. For this reason, some books and movies have alluded to the coronavirus disease in last years. In truth, these are not predictions. They are plans that have been secretly coded and today their resurgence is used to take advantage of people's determinism and to exasperate the fear born out of this disease. On the other hand, the important notion regarding the coronavirus is that fatality and critical symptoms are very rare among children under 10 infected by it. When these children are infected by this virus, they are usually symptomless or have mild symptoms. Severe cases leading to death in children is extremely rare. This fact is suspicious because children under 10 are still in an age that they can be trained and their thought structure has not fully formed and can be changed. This point is probably one of the reasons that the coronavirus does not create severe symptoms within the absolute majority of children. The Freemasons believe their victory is near and thus they look at children as their labor force and their future target society. Considering the children's trainable nature, they hope to preserve their future labor force and also to change their thoughts and beliefs. This matter can have hand in the specific design of some genetic parts of this virus so that it is less hostile and virulent towards children, but is more virulent towards adults. However, it seems that in general, population casualties are a secondary target of the global Freemasonry, and their primary goal is the economic collapse worldwide. In other words, Nothing can cause the closure of various businesses, incur treatment and rehabilitation costs, and finally lead to economic fall of all countries like a contagious disease. In truth, the apparent power and glory of the powerful Masonic organizations and other superpowers such as the USA, Britain, the European Union, Japan, and South Korea should collapse so that according to the Masonic slogan, Ordop Chao or Order from Chaos, the New World Order can rise out of ruins of superpowers in Jerusalem as its capital. In other words, the economic, social, and political consequences of COVID-19 and the emergence of markets plunge, social unrests, the political collapse worldwide including Western countries are the most important goals for creating the coronavirus pandemic. This matter was cryptically alluded to in some parts of the I Pet Go 2 animation. In one of the scenes, the Ludovic character, who is the symbol of the Western Christian youngsters, has fallen to the ground like an ill person and a syringe and some pills and capsules can be seen next to him. Expressions such as markets plunge, US dollar devaluation, S&P index decline, fall of Nasdaq in the stock market and finally war coverage can be seen in Ludovic's eyes as he's laying on the ground. 
we provided different analysis regarding this scene. However, one other analysis is the plunge of various economic indices worldwide and especially in the United States concurrent with an international disease pandemic which eventually leads to war and conflicts due to instability in various lands. It seems that this scene is indicating the economic plunge and the eventual mass military conflicts in different parts of the world. Of course, the iPetco 2 animation's indication towards the subject of Corona is not limited to the aforementioned. This notion was also indicated in the scene involving the Chinese girl Sun Tzu, who first resists the Freemasonry movements but is eventually defeated and submits to school degree or the Trump era's America. In particular, within the aforementioned scene, there are fireworks in the sky, which indicate the occurrence of some events in the near future near the new Christian and Chinese year festivals. This matter is in line with the timing of coronavirus difficulties and the new Christian and Chinese years. By taking what was discussed into account, it would seem that the pandemic and global spread of COVID-19 caused by the coronavirus has been a purposeful and predetermined plan, which was made for the initial years of the third millennia. The timing of this disease's pandemic was also after the resurrection of the Antichrist in April 2019, at the time of the parade of foolish politicians and joker anarchists, according to a precise and purposeful plan. An accurate plan to act as the Cope de Grace for the order governing different countries of the world and to create severe economic, political, military, cultural, and theological disorder worldwide. Because such a disorder is part of the Masonic slogan or the Chao. According to the Illuminati's plan, before the deal of the century is finalized and the global rule of the Antichrist begins, such chaos and anarchy must prevail all around the world so that the Antichrist can rise as a false prophet to save the world from the valley of the shadow of death and draw people's attention as the false savior and establish the new world order centered in Jerusalem. We will of course mention how all these plans will be void soon despite the Illuminati and Freemasons intelligence and the Shad God willing be dealt with forever. In addition to the above, it should be noted that Although the beginning of COVID-19 bioterrorism may have been initiated by the evil leaders of the Masonic countries, it does not mean that the ultimate control of this disease and its consequences is necessarily in their hands. Rather, the complex bodies of living things, such as humans, as well as the mutable genomes of viruses, often produce results that do not follow the calculations of bioterrorism designers and take a different path. Therefore, it is quite probable that the execution of the bioterrorism using the coronavirus may lead to a conclusion quite contrary to what the Masonic Zionistic leaders of the world thought of, and they may be caught within the flames of this fire. If such an event becomes true, the creation of this order for the establishment of the New World Order in Jerusalem led by the Antichrist has not gone according to plan and the tables shall tear. Hence, this disease will lead to the ever-rapid destruction of the Zionism and Freemasonry. This event is the manifestation of verse 54 of Surah Ali Imran in the Holy Quran, which states, and they, the followers of Satan, planned, but the God also prepared a plan for them, and the God is the best of planners. Indeed, in response to the actions of Satan and his followers, the God is the best planner, and God willing, all plans of the followers of devil 
will be neutralized and the calculations of the enemies of divine religions will come to naught. The very important point within the last days of the publication of this article was the opinion given and speeches made by some prominent political figures of the world, which conform to the mentioned analysis. Gordon Brown, the former British Prime Minister, suggested that a single global government be established in order to tackle the global coronavirus problem. Such recommendation by a prominent Illuminati politician is in practice laying the foundation for the general acceptance of the New World Order and single government within the minds of the public taking advantage of the fight against COVID-19 and its consequences as an excuse. Certainly, people like Gordon Brown shall accept a Masonic Zionist government as a single global government. On the other hand, the clever and pious Muslim leaders and politicians, such as Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah, have also well indicated this issue and the probable consequences of the era after the coronavirus outbreak. In his important speech towards the end of March 2020, Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah professed نحن أمام وضع في العالم لا مثيل له منذ بالحد الأدنى منذ الحرب العالمية الثانية التداعيات تداعيات شيء أخطر من حرب عالمية يمكن بعد الانتهاء من كورونا نحن ما نعرف مصار الأمور إلى أين يمكن أن نصبح أمام نظام عالمي جديد أمام وضع جديد شوفوا بعد الحرب العالمية الأولى صار نظام عالمي جديد بعد الحرب العالمية الثانية صار نظام عالمي جديد بعد انهيار الاتحاد السوفيتي والمعسكر الشرقي وأوروبا الشرقية وأوروبا الغربية صار في نظام عالمي جديد اليوم اللي عم بيصير أكبر بكتير من اللي صار بالحروب العالمية بسبب أنه دخل إلى كل المساحات اليوم على ضوء ما يحصل في العالم في نقاش ثقافي في نقاش عقائدي في نقاش ديني في نقاش فكري في نقاش فلسفي اذا كل ما يتصل بعالم العقيده والثقافه والفكر والدين والفلسفه وكذا الان هذا انفتح في زلزال زلزال طيب في مجال اخر في نقاش باولويات الدول في نقاش حول جدوى الأمم المتحدة وحول جدوى التكتلات الدولية الكبرى يوم نحن ما نعرف هاي الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية بتضل متحدة ولا بتتفكك الاتحاد الأوروبي بضل اتحاد أوروبي ولا بيتفكك لكن ما في شك بأنه نحن اليوم هذا الأجيال الحاضرة اليوم في لبنان في المنطقة في العالم نحن نعاصر تجربة جديدة لا شبيه لها في الحد الأدنى منذ مئة سنة أو مئتي سنة وستنقل الكرة الأرضية والبشرية إلى وضع جديد وإلى معطيات جديدة قد تنقل إلى وضع جديد ومعطيات جديدة أنا أقول أن بحطات أقول قد قد لكن له مجاله الواسع والحقيقي ومعطياته العلمية والواقعية على المستوى الفكر والثقافي على المستوى السياسي على مستوى الأحلاف والتكتلات والنظام العالمي وال والاقتصاد والمال والنقد والبنية الاجتماعية و و و و إلى آخره اليوم العالم والبشرية أمام امتحان أخلاقي هناك قيادات كبرى تسقط في الامتحان الأخلاقي هناك دول وحكومات قدمت نفسها وزايدت على البشرية بالأخلاق وبحقوق الإنسان تسقط في امتحان الأخلاق وفي امتحان حقوق الإنسان نحن يجب أن ننجح في هذا الامتحان من أجل دنيانا وآخرتنا وشعوبنا وأمتنا والعالم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Considering what was mentioned in the speech by Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah, it would seem that the great Muslim leaders have felt the proximity of the changes in the world with regards to the new world order in the era post-COVID-19. They have given serious warnings to the pious people around the world. Paying due attention to these warnings is of utmost importance. Of course, these esteemed Muslim leaders 
Contrary to the evil plans of the Illuminati, see the ultimate destiny of the world as a future that belongs to the divine religions, and they believe that, God willing, contrary to the plans of the enemy, the world would eventually prosper and establish a divine global government led by the divine savior. Furthermore, it is noteworthy that the statement of conspiracies and schemes related to the bioterrorist nature of the COVID-19 coronavirus does not mean escaping from the science and finding refuge with pseudo-scientific claims. The countries who fell victim to such a savage bioterrorism should fight this ominous biologic weapon first by relying on God and seeking his aid and then by using scientific and evidence-based methods. In all cases, in the strength, in the resistance, in the faith in God, 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 in the faith in God. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الطاهرين سيما بقية الله في الأرضين يك كلمة راجع بمسألة كورونا بجم كورونا رو دست كم نجريد روزي صد و پنجاه هموطن از دست برن این چیز کوچکیه بعضی ها تقویم مناسبی ارزیابی مناسبی ندارن از این قضیه فرض کنید هر دو روز یه بار یه هواپیمای سی صد نفره سقوط کنه همش همشون بمیرن این چیز کمیه ما هر روزی صد و پنجاه نفر صد و چل نفر صد و هفتاد نفر صد متوفا داشته باشیم این چیزی کمیه علاج هم دست خودمونه خب مسئولین که میبینید دارن خودشون رو واقعا دارن فدا میکنن از پزشک و از پرستار و از مدیر و دائم دارن تلاش میکنن کار میکنن ما مردم بایستی به وظایفمون عمل کنیم این فاصله اجتماعی این ماسک این دستوراتی که داده میشه این شستش روی دست اینا کارای لازمی است که باید انجام بگیره Certainly and with the will of God the coronavirus project shall end soon and the pious people around the world must get ready to fight the economic political and social threats caused by the economic collapse born out of the coronavirus These shall be some difficult but pivotal days 